Now, if you've ever struggled to speak on camera, if you've ever struggled to speak on stage and frozen on stage and always tried to get things perfect, listen, I feel you and I wanna share with you a quick little story that I think might change it all for you. I have had some of the worst experiences of my life standing on stage. Being a young entrepreneur, I would go on stage, sign up to these events and just be brave. And I would get on and my brain would freeze in front of all these people. And four times in a row, I, my brain would just turn to mush. The moment where I needed it the most, standing in front of a huge crowd of people and it was tremendously embarrassing. And I decided that I was just gonna give up because it was too painful to speak. I decided I was never gonna speak on stage again and I just couldn't figure out how to make my brain work in front of people for some reason. I had no idea what it was. And then after I sold my skincare brand, I got invited to speak at this big event. I cost the attendees $10,000 to go to. So it was a really big event and I didn't have a business anymore. So this was really good networking. And I, I wanted to crush this. And I realized I wanted to get past this block that I had and figure out what would cause me to speak. How could I do this? So I hired this speaking coach named Mike Acker. And uh, when I got to talking to him, we got to practicing to putting the speech together, but he taught me something I'll never forget. And he said, Peter, the reason that you would freeze on stage is because secretly you really care what people think about you. That was it. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, that's the problem. You secretly care about what people think about you. And that's the reason why your brain overloads. Don't you think about like, is this the right thing to say? How much, how many times you're thinking, am I doing it right? Is the lighting perfect? Is this perfect? Is that perfect? Is that everything? You're constantly thinking about what's perfect because you're constantly worried about what people think about you. And that mode of being worried about what people think about you is what causes your brain to overload and explode. Like a computer having way too many hard tabs open on your hard drive. You just crash mentally. And the secret for you to unlock your true self on stage and secret to share who you really are and shine your light on the world the way that you wanna shine your light on the world is to learn how to not care and learn that it's not about you, it's about helping them. It's about helping give back to them, helping them just grow and learn the lessons that you did. So I was like, okay, that's really cool. So. He gave me this thing called the speaker's prayer, which I've attached below, which is like right before you do any big speech or do any big sort of thing, just read this simple prayer and I'll share it with you below. You can rewrite it to heaven for you, but it's really just about like your why. Why are you speaking here? It's almost like a, a prayer to the universe or whatever. Like, why are you put here? Why are you, why are you speaking? Here's a bunch of affirmations. Here's this part where who you are as a person, there's a part about like how it's not about, you're not here for you, you're here to help and inspire people and that's what really matters at the end of the day and that's what we're gonna focus on. And all you have to do is read this and you're ready to go. So I was like, okay, this is great. Um, practice this speech some more and I go out to uh, Cabo in Mexico to go speak. And I remember getting up to the speaking event and it's like two minutes and I, I see this big stage, it's in front of this huge, um, terrace, looking over the ocean, all these people are getting ready to be in the audience. And I could start to feel my heart kind of start racing again. And I could start to feel myself being really worried and really like anxious and like, oh my gosh, this is kind of scary, you know, whatever. So I'm going in the back and I'm reading my speaker's prayer and I'm like, I'm not here for me. I'm here to help people. I'm not here for me. I'm here to help people. I'm not here for me. I'm here to help people. And I start to like, I start to like lose it. It's getting like two minutes before this thing comes up and my feelings just start to get really overloaded and just, I'm starting to lose it. And then somebody taps me on the shoulder and I'm like, what is it? And they're like, here's the microphone. I'm like, oh my God. And I could feel my just energy just rushing. Like I'm just starting to get really worried. And they go, oh, can you test the microphone for me? And I go, sure. And they give me the microphone and I speak into it and I say, hello. And it goes, hello in a really cool way. It was like, I could hear the speakers echo super loud in the room. I'm like, testing, it's like testing, like really loud. And then all of a sudden it was like, man, when I'm holding this mic, I'm not just me anymore. I'm like powerful. I had this powerful voice all of a sudden. And I was like, I'm not here for me. I'm here to help people. And I step up and I crush the entire speech a 40 minute long talk, my first one ever, and I completely crushed it. And I sit down just so excited. And at the end of the day, they end up giving me an award as best speaker at the entire event. And I just started crying because of how this circle just kind of landed for me about just becoming this person who was able to speak. And ever since that experience, I've used my speaker's prayer every single time I go on anything. And that's what I want to teach you, the lesson. The lesson was, the moment you learn to stop caring about what people think about you, the more you can start just going. 
You know, when you when somebody comes over to your friend's house and you're just sitting down, somebody comes over to your house, you're sitting down and you're talking to them, you don't really think about what the best thing to say is. You just do it. You just say you. You just do you. You be you. That's kind of it. And they love you because you are you at the end of the day. But for some reason, when the camera turns on, when you step on stage, it all goes out the door and you just don't know what to do. So what I want to tell you is a short little thing about caring what, not caring what people think. Now, you should care what people think, but the difference is that there's so many people in the world, if you care what everybody thinks, you're really going to get thrown around like a hurricane because everyone's got different opinions on this stuff. So you have to come up with a different definition of caring about what people think about you is. And what I would like to suggest to you is the idea that you should only care about what people think who are already the living the life that you want to live at the end of the day. One of my mentors has this great quote that if I think like you, well, I end up having a life like you, right? Because it's their thoughts that have created their reality. And if they're giving me some ideas, right, opinions about who I am and whatever, but they're not living the life I want to live and I take their advice, I'm also not going to be living the life I want to live, right? Their advice can't get me further than how far they are. And the only people we should really be listening to are people who have the results of what we're looking for in life. Those are the only role models that are worth listening to. So as soon as you start getting feedback on your posts or your comments or whatever, take a look at who's giving the feedback. Is it really somebody who's living the life that you've always wanted to live? Is it really the role model and the leader and the person that you're trying to be like that is, that is giving you this kind of feedback? Because if it's not, don't worry about it, right? only care about what the people think who are already living the life you want to live. So as you're getting on social media, you're not already a pro yet. Take that to heart. Come in with this. Like I not care. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I'm amazing. I love who I am. My friends love who I am. They love when I tell stories. They love when I tell jokes. People love the products that I have to sell. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I'm going up and I'm going to talk how I want to talk and live my life, how I want to live and share the shine my light on the world the way I want to shine my light on the world. And if anyone has a problem with that, they better have something I want to have because then I'm interested in what they have to say. If somebody has a problem with that and they don't have anything that I want to have and I want to be nothing like them, then I refuse to agree with them, right? I refuse to agree with any of their ideas because they have to be qualified to have me listen to their ideas and they're simply not just qualified. So Take it at heart, go down below and, and check out the, the speaker's prayer that I've created. Go ahead and save it as I save mine in my notes on my phone so that I'm always able to click it before any big moment and simply just read this and watch how your brain is unlocked and you're able to be who you are on camera and have much more greater success. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video.